Hey guys, um, today I want to go over something that I, I saw in a tutorial the other day that I think is kind of interesting um, if you're ever going to use something like this. Um, it's for making a glass dome. Um, so what you want to do is you want to come up to your massing and site tab, click on that, and you want to come over to this in place mass. Um, and in doing that, you'll want to name it. Uh, we'll just do glass dome. Um, and then that, that sets the, uh, the massing site. So I've tried doing it with um, the inscribed polygon and the circumscribed polygon, but I haven't been able to get it to work the way that I wanted it to. Um, but the best one to do it is with the circle, and so uh, we'll just we'll just make a big circle here. We'll do a 60, 60 foot circle. Um, so what you do after that is you can click modify, and then you want to click on the exterior of the circle. Um, when you click on that, this little tab will show up. You want to come down and put in a solid form. So you click on that, and then um, it'll show these two little, with the circles, when, when you're doing a circle, um, it'll show these two different orbs. Um, I actually haven't played with this one, but I you'd want to click on this one. Um, and then we can open up the 3D view, and it'll show this, this nice sphere. Um, so before you click finish mass, um, you'll want to come to this blue line um, and you'll want to double click the blue line. So it opens up this, uh, this pink, these pink lines. Um, then when you get to that point, you'll want to click on this uh, diameter line and pull pull it back to the center. I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's to the center. Um, it just makes it a little easier for me. Um, and then you want to come up here and click your line tool and draw straight down along this dotted line to the center. Um, so that cuts it into a fourth. Then you'll want to take your trim tool and trim this away and trim that away. So you have one quarter slice of the sphere. Um, so you could look at that in the 3D view again. And um, when you get that done, then you can finish that and it'll make a sideways uh, semicircle, semisphere, however you say that. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to one of your elevation views that has it uh, laid out like this. Um, well, actually, before you do that, you want to go into your 3D view and then... Um, okay, so you want to come into your 3D view and then come back to massing and site and then click on the curtain system. When you click on that, it'll prompt you to to select uh, the sphere so you wanna um, hold down the control button so you click the bottom half of the sphere and the top half so both halves are selected and then you wanna click create system so when you click create the system then you get your your glass dome um, then you wanna come to the north elevation view um, and you want to click on the dotted line. You don't want to click on the solid line, but you want to click on the dotted line. Um, and then use your rotate tool to rotate it 90 degrees. Um, and when you do that, it actually leaves the, uh, the first thing that we did before we put in the curtain system, um, the mass. So you can actually delete that out of there. And then from there, um, 
you got a dome. And you can raise it and lower it and put it on your building or on the side of your building or as a greenhouse or whatever you want to use it for. So that's how the simple steps to making a glass dome. Thanks for watching.